exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Cougars here on Madden 22. That is right, we are back with another episode and we continue season number three of the Cougars, season number four of the franchise, but we don't really care about that first episode because, or that first season because that was in the, the very first episode, we didn't really, that, that was when we were still the Texans, so we don't really care about that. This is season number three of the Cougars, two-time Super Bowl champions in our first two seasons of existence. Never been done before, never be duplicated, because we're built different. It's just, it's just what we are. But we are finally at the time that we have been waiting for since our inception, since our creation on this planet. It is finally time for the first ever Battle of Chicago. This is the sole reason, one of the sole reasons I should say, that we well that doesn't make any sense one of the main reasons that we chose to go to chicago to relocate because we wanted to have that built-in rivalry with the chicago bears but madden being the great game that it is didn't schedule us with the bears the first two seasons of existence but they finally gave us the game in season number three we are taking on Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears in Chicago at Soldier Field. So it's not a home game for anybody. It's a neutral site game. <laughs> no, it's a home game for the Bears. But we will bring more fans because Cougars travel well and we just got to go up north to Soldier Field. We don't got to go anywhere else. This is a big one. This is the first ever battle for Chicago. I am excited. I hope you guys are too. We've been waiting for this since the creation of the Cougars. We've been waiting to play the Bears, and we finally get to do it. So I hope you guys are excited. We've got some weekly strategies to talk about. Justin Fields, obviously, is still their quarterback. He is only star development. I thought for sure he'd be up to at least superstar by now, but he is star development. They've got David Montgomery still. He's star or er, he's superstar development. So what are we going to have to focus on here? I say we focus on David Montgomery. So let's try and focus on the outside run for David Montgomery. And for us, we're going to keep doing the throw it short because that seems to be our best method for success. We are going to go with, throw. let's see, throw two passing touchdowns because I think I can do that. And as you guys know, these are the same focus players as always we still got Kalen Cousins in there because I'm trying to get Kalen Cousins to be an X factor so getting him as high overall as possible will help then we've got our quarterback that we drafted Mark Burton I'm hoping that he turns out to be because he's hidden development so I'm hoping he turns out to be at least superstar that would be epic if he could be superstar right off the bat then we got our center James Henley who's getting uh, developed he's still superstar Tevin Lambert is uh, only normal development but he is 77 overall so he's doing pretty good and then pj finch our d tackle hopefully uh will do well as well uh do well also <laughs> and zaire reed is here he's still low overall but he's got star development so he's got potential i'm not going to give up on him just because he's a low overall i want him to i want to at least give him a chance to to do something and to become a good player we're healthy on defense and we are also healthy on offense. All right, perfect. So we are going in 100% against these Bears. I'm excited. I can't wait. Ooh, Trey Lance gets an upgrade point. That's what you love to see. You love to see Trey Lance with the upgrade points. Obviously, in the last episode, we changed his X factor from run and gun to gambler because gambler suits my play style a little bit better because I tend to throw a lot of picks to the AI and when gambler is an act or when gambler is activated you can't throw picks to the AI <laughs> so it's basically my crypt or it's basically my safety net uh for play is gambler I know gambler might not be the best overall ability but for me it fits perfectly 
So we are gonna go with, we still need to work on his accuracies, but I also want him to be a scrambler quarterback. So we're gonna have to bump up the scrambler stuff too. That works. And he is still Superstar X Factor. He's looking pretty good. His ratings are pretty decent. He's got 93 throw power. His uh, deep accuracy, is his medium accuracy and his short accuracy are all pretty good. Throwing the runs decent. His speed is 87. He's a good player. He is really a good player. Kalen Cousins, uh, we are going to keep you at a power rusher because I like that you uh, just bull rush the edge. So he's looking pretty good. I'm hoping that he maybe gets up to an X factor here pretty soon. James Henley, our center. We're going to go with pass protector for you just to bump that up a little bit. Get that going. I hope that we he turns out to be a superstar as well. That'd be awesome if I could just draft two superstars. And scary Terry McLaurin. Let's bump it up to a deep route runner. Or just his route running, not deep route running. <laughs> He's playing up to a 99. He is a 98 now officially. That's awesome. We have a 98 overall, and we'll just auto upgrade these guys. We have a 98 overall wide receiver on our team. That's crazy to think about. And we got him in the Deshaun Watson trade in year number one. Do you guys remember that? Players ready to negotiate their contracts. We've got Patrick Sertan and JJ Watt ready. Oh, this is a big year. We are going to have no money, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got to bring back we've got to bring back Elijah Vera Tucker, Micah Parsons, Jamar Chase, Trey Lance, and Patrick Sertan. We are going to have zero money, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. I was not prepared to have to do this. We are going to have no money. But we got to pay these guys because they're worth it. They are worth it. Patrick Sertan has made some big plays in the big-time moments. And five years, $88 million is bringing him back. J.J. Watt, we're going to let go. Or at least we're not going to pay him 11.4. That's certainly not right now. We're going to wait to till uh, Trey Lance comes up next week for his contract. Answer the media questions probably about the contract. Patrick said, yeah, so we, we don't care. Uh, honestly, uh, honestly uh, we'd like to think we're not too far apart. We already signed him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so we could take a look at the Bears schedule or the Bears roster before we jump into this game. We have an 89 offense, 87 defense, 88 overall. They have a 79 offense, 76 defense, and a 77 overall. So we are far and away better than this Bears team. We just got to play like it on the field. We lead the division at two and two, or two and zero, oh, I should say, <laughs> not two and two. The Bears roster is Justin Fields at quarterback, but he's playing down to an 82 because he's got morale, uh, bad morale. David Montgomery is their running back. Wide receiver core is Allen Robinson, but he's hurt, which is big. So their best wide receiver is Darnell Mooney, and then they got really nobody else. Cole Komet still at tight end. Offensive line is Tevin Jenkins, but he's hurt, so they're going to have to start Larry Borum. <laughs> then they got Cody Whitehair. Their center is a rookie from Alabama, Alex Dotson. Oh, that guy's good, I think. Is he hidden development? No, he's normal development. I thought he was decent. I guess not. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. James Daniels, their right guard, and Steve Roll. They have a bad offensive line. Okay, we are going to feast, hopefully, on this offensive line. Alex Windsor, uh, Bilal Nichols, and Eddie Goldman is their defensive line. Khalil Mack's back in Chicago. I forgot about that. Khalil Mack is, is still in Chicago. I thought he left or retired. Uh, Roquan Smith is the middle linebacker. He's an X factor. He's playing really well. 95 overall. He's developed pretty good. Jalen Ferguson's their other linebacker. Then they got Jalen Johnson at corner and nobody else. Then they have Eddie Jackson still here at free safety and then Jordan Poyer at strong safety. So their team is in shambles. Their team is bad. Uh, not very good. Their offensive line is garbage. So I'm expecting us to feast on this team. Also, if you guys had forgotten what happened last episode, we got Mr. Chase Young up to Superstar X Factor. So we now have all three X Factors on defense, and we have two pass rushers that are X Factor. We are going to be dominating this team. I am so excited for this episode. I have been waiting to play the Bears for so long. We finally get to do it. I hope you guys are excited too. I hope you guys have been uh, just chomping at the bit for more Chicago Cougars action and i'm here to bring it to you if you guys are excited smash that like button subscribe to the channel join the juice club let's go play the bears for the battle for chicago let's bring home that imaginary trophy <laughs> let's do it it's
It's Madden NFL 22, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Bears coming up next. Just off Lakeshore Drive, nestled next to Lake Michigan, that's where you find historic Soldier Field in the great city of Chicago, Illinois. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with their opponents. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season and a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. On the other side of the field for our visitors here, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The battle for Chicago is underway. It's Soldier Field, Cougars, and Bears for the first time ever. And we get to see Mr. Justin Fields play his... For the first time, we've never seen Justin Fields play, but he's only star development. We got to remember that. And we got to remember that this offensive line is hot garbage. So Chase Young, I'm going to need you to use that X factor for the first time today and dominate this offensive line. Justin Fields gets the ball out quickly, broken tackle, and it's going to be a 13 yard catch. Lovelock, a no name receiver with the first catch of the game. Not a good sign. They're going to go with Montgomery here, and that's going to be Jeff Sewell stopping him, kind of. Kind of slowing him down, I guess, more so. And uh, Daryl Royals is able to bring him down officially. Let's get some pressure. I would appreciate a little bit of pressure off the edge here. Second down and seven. Micah Parsons coming off the edge. He needs to get there, and he will kind of. He'll force an outside throw from Justin Fields. Caught, and it's third and two. All right, let's blitz all the linebackers. And I, I got to be quicker doing that because I wanted to pinch the off or the defensive line, but I couldn't do it in time. I'm not quick enough at that stuff yet. I'm still thinking about all the contracts that we have to to uh, pay here. We got to re-sign everybody, especially Trey Lance. We got to pay him a bag. He's going to want 140 plus. I may even have to give him 150 mil. Is he worth it? <laughs> Is Trey Lance worth it at this point? Yeah, he's worth it. He won us a Super Bowl. He's an X Factor now. If he was still a superstar, I would probably think about it a little bit more. But he's he's now that he's an X Factor, I I think it's time to pay him. He's done enough. Trent Favors is going to be coming up for contract too, I would guess. Oh, that was a nice cutback from Mooney. Or is that? Oh, I thought I thought Mooney was 17. I guess he's not. Tucker, whatever, whoever it is, that was a great cutback that he had. Oh, Mooney's 11, that's right. Justin Fields and this Bears offense are moving, and I missed the user tackle there in the backfield. Luckily, Royals was able to catch him. That could have been bad. That could have been an easy touchdown for him, or at least a huge gain. The Bears are cooking on this first drive of the game. That's going to be Montgomery again. Good shutdown right there in the middle of the line. We meet him at the middle. And that's third and three. Can we hold them? Can we hold the Bears to a field goal attempt? It's going to be J.J. Watt. That knee was down. That knee was down. Fourth and one field goal attempt. J.J. Watt. What? Okay. They are going to go with uh, fourth and one. They're going to go for it. And the oh, I had it stopped, but a good block. I had it stopped. That was a great block from the line. Oh, I don't know if you guys caught that or not, but I had a guy coming in the middle to meet Montgomery before he was going to get to the first down marker, but it got blocked at the last second. That was a great block. 
The Bears are doing a very good job of getting the yards that they need. There is a chance. I don't think there's a chance for another first down. I mean, I see the first down marker there, but I don't think you can get that without getting a touchdown, so you might as well just get the touchdown. Third and eight. Hold them to a field goal. That would be a success. Or we could, if we could turn them over here, that would be awesome, obviously. Oh, Marcus May, the safety blitz works. The safety blitz comes into full effect. Great job. And we do hold them to a field goal. And it's up and good. All right, boys. So they took the full first quarter on that drive. That's how long they they uh, had the ball. They had the ball for seven minutes. But we hold them to a field goal. That's a success. That is a win in my book, especially because the way they were moving up the field. I will take it. And here comes our young quarterback, Trey Lance. Both these guys in the same draft class in real life. We've already played Trevor Lawrence a bunch. We know how he plays. He's developed really well. But I think, as far as I know, Trey Lance is the first of this class to get an X Factor. I don't think, unless Trevor Lawrence has it this year, he might be he might be an X Factor now. But at least last year, he was still a superstar. I don't know. We have yet to play the Jaguars this season. I'm kind of afraid to play the Jaguars. It's Jonathan Taylor. I need you to break that tackle, my guy. I know Eddie Jackson's a good player, but I need you to break that tackle. I'm kind of afraid to play the Jaguars, if we're being honest, because they've uh, we don't have a good history against the Jaguars in this series. But Trey Lance, I'm so happy we upgraded his throw on the run. <laughs> Maybe that one point that we upgraded was just enough. And now we get Raheem Mostert. I keep forgetting. I, I'm going to do it after this game, I promise you. I'm going to change so that Raheem Mostert gets a little bit more playing time. Because I do want Raheem Mostert to get playing time. I don't want to just forget about him because of uh, we got Jonathan Taylor now. He's earned his playing time, certainly. And Jonathan Taylor gets stuffed. Nowhere. Bilal Nichols was in there. Some other guys were in there. Absolutely stuffed. This is the Bears' year. They're 0-2, fans. I don't know if this is your year or not. And we're going to dump this to Jamar Chase. He's going to turn up the field. I don't know if he got the first down there. That's going to be close. They do give it to me. Okay. Rokon Smith is fast. He kept up with Jamar Chase. And the X Factor is lit up. Big time. That's big time, ladies and gentlemen. Because now I can send Terry McLaurin on a corner. Wait for it to work. Or I can find it right here. Oh, Brevin Jordan. Brevin Jordan. You had it in your hands. That's a tutty. And you dropped it. That's unfortunate. Broken one tackle. Can't go anywhere else. I can't believe Brevin Jordan dropped that. That was a touchdown. Uh, that's a risky throw, but Tajay Chamberlain's there. Good throw. It was a risky throw, but it was a good throw. All right. Let's see if we can push this forward with Jonathan Taylor. There's the run. Oh, good cut inside. Oh, okay. We're going to keep going. Force this ball down their throat. There it is. That's a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown. Big time. He got one last week, and he gets one this week. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And that should be a make. All right. Rodrigo Blankenship also needs a contract extension. We didn't hold the ball as long as the Bears did. We only hold, held it for about four minutes, a little under. But we did come out with a better result than they did. We scored. They didn't. They kicked a field goal. So let's see if our defense can actually stop them this time. I would appreciate that. I would really appreciate it if our defense could stop them. And I need Chase Young and, and Trent Favors to do something. That would make me happy. They're going to give it to Montgomery. He's going to stiff arm. That's a holding call. It's coming back. Thank God. Oh. It's an illegal block in the back. Okay. Well. That works. I'll take it. 
and I just realized I picked first and four instead of first and ten. Whoops, I wasn't really paying attention. I was drinking some some uh, some juice. Yeah, I drink juice. My name is Juice. Of course, I drink juice. But I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> That's okay. David Montgomery. Okay. We need to get that momentum on our side is what we need to do. I know it's a little bit on our side, but we don't have anything activated right now. I would like to get at least one thing activated, but we got to stop him here. Two-minute warning. The battle for Chicago is in full effect here. 7-3 to three Cougars lead. I bet the Bears are just salty that we've been in the league for two seasons and we've already become the better Chicago team. Two Super Bowl rings. That's an easy pick. Justin Reed. Micah Parsons with the assist. And Justin Reed intercepts Justin Fields. That's Justin on Justin Crime right there. Micah Parsons lobs it up for the assist. Boom. Hits Justin Fields. That's a wounded duck. And Justin Reed intercepts it. Easy money. And now that I have my X Factor lit up, I feel super confident. And I'm going to throw a deep one. Who's going to get it? It's going to be you. It's going to be Brevin Jordan. That would have been a pick if I didn't have Gambler activated. <laughs> I should not throw Brevin Jordan like that. Brevin, he's just not fast enough, so I shouldn't do that. That's my fault. We're going to go with a, a little bit of an in route on Terry McLaurin here. Uh, wow, okay. Khalil Mack. I had nobody open. That was great coverage. I had absolutely nobody open. Uh... Get there, Jamar. Oh. Well, that's basically a punt. Eddie Jackson somehow beat Jamar Chase. I don't know about that. Whatever. Oh, that's why I need Gambler, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I need Gambler activated. How do I always miss the user sacks? I don't know. J.J. Watt got it. I don't care. As long as we sack him. That's number two for us. I'm just upset that I miss it with Chase Young. Oh, J.J. Watt is climbing the all-time sack list. Look at that. 127, I think they said. Uh-oh. I got... Ah, oh, crap. Luckily, it wasn't anything crazy. I hate when stinking the, R or the L3 button just glitches out for some reason. This controller's a little bit old now. It's been through a lot. <laughs> uh, that's going to be great tackle, Trent Favors. Pump me back that football. I will use a timeout so that we have as much time as possible to try and score, at least get a field goal. Oh, I shouldn't have threw that pick. I, I feel like Eddie Jackson should not have been able to catch up to, to Jamar Chase like that, like he did, but whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's see what we can do here. We definitely need to get a faster tight end. That is no doubt about that. Uh, Jamar Chase. Oh, I needed you to, to like juke up field or something. That would have been crazy. Snap the ball. Here we go. I'm going to roll out here, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Find Tajay Chamberlain, baby. That was a risky decision to make, but that's what I do. I make crazy decisions because I'm a psychopath. That's what I do. 20 seconds remain. We've got very interesting routes here. Uh, sit down, Tajay. Good job. That's the final timeout we are going to use. I could have went no huddle. I didn't want to have to rush like that. Now if Terry... Oh, thank God. This is the perfect time to have Gambler activated. Perfect time. Because we're going to go with Terry McLaurin on an in. And we're going to go with... Jamar Chase on a flat. And we're going to see what happens. It's going to be Trey Lance touchdown. I barely got that to work. I barely got that to work. But Trey Lance did it. Big time, Trey. 
That's Ice Trey Lance, baby. I was just debating on whether or not to throw it or not. And that should be another extra point. Good. Nine seconds, and we got a 14 to 3 lead. We should have a 21 to 3 lead. I shouldn't have thrown that pick, but whatever. We get the ball at half anyway, so it doesn't matter. Third rushing touchdown of the game. I think he scored one in every single game so far. I think he scored one in week one and then in week two last week. So Trey Lance is getting his uh, his tutties. All right, let's see what they do here on with nine seconds. Are they going to just throw like a little small route or are they going to go big? They might go big, but they're going to go David Montgomery. And please bring him down. Please bring him down. Thank you. Jeez. I got worried for a second. I panicked a little bit there. I thought he was going to break a tackle. They're going to kick a field goal from here? Okay, I respect it. Do it. Do it. 65 yards. Nothing. Nothing. I was hoping that he would make it. Just so that we could say that we had that field goal attempt on us. Let's try and stop the short pass from Justin Fields because we've been stopping David Montgomery, but we haven't been stopping Justin Fields. Except for the interception. But that's only that it was only an interception because Micah Parsons hit him. Start of the third quarter. Tajay Chamberlain's got some room. No. I had all the room in the world. But the the ankle tackle, the shoelace tackle. Oh man. I thought I had it. I saw all the daylight. There's a Jonathan Taylor run, and he falls forward for some extra yardage. We're going to keep running with him because our offensive line seems to be blocking pretty well, and Jonathan Taylor falls forward again. I need to get him a superstar or an X-Factor or something. He certainly needs to have that. I mean, he's in the high 90 overalls. He needs to have something. Jamar Chase turns up the field. He outruns Roquan Smith this time. Last time he didn't. he wasn't able to. Good run. And we go back to the run game with Jonathan Taylor. Give me a block. Oh, that block was there, but so was Roquan Smith. <laughs> okay, I got Gambler activated. Revan Jordan's going deep. I don't necessarily like Terry McLaurin's route here, so I'm going to send him on a post, and we're going to see what happens. That's not a good throw. Oh, thank God Gambler was activated. Why was he so wide open? And then all of a sudden, I probably should have waited a little bit. That's on me. Thank God that that was Gambler was activated there because that was very easily an interception. See, this is why I have Gambler activated so it can bail me out when I throw, throw or when I make passes like that. That's going to be Brevin Jordan. Why'd you stop like that? That was a weird animation. But I, I, he, he held on and he caught it, so it works. <laughs> that was a weird animation. What was that? I wanted him to go up the field, not kind of like horizontal to the field give that to jonathan taylor broke a tackle did he get the first down second and inches okay Ooh, let's go jet sweep terry terry mclaurin here the rams are 0 three that's crazy there's terry terry's got it he's got the edge no he doesn't he got the first down but he didn't have the edge I probably should have cut up the field to get a couple extra yards, but if we were able to get Debo Samuel at some point, that would be crazy because then he could run those. Debo Samuel is basically a running back at this point. Um, um, that was a dumb throw, but it turned out to be a genius throw. That's usually how I play. <laughs> I usually have a bunch of dumb throws that somehow turn out to be genius throws. I should not have thrown that at any point, but it worked. Taylor cuts back inside. Roquan Smith is everywhere. Roquan Smith is everywhere. Get that. Taylor, another tackle for Roquan. I'm trying to find my way into the end zone, but Roquan Smith, he is doing a great job of denying me. It's only second down, so I'm going to go with the run for Raheem Mostert here. If he can... Oh, it's Roquan again and Khalil Mack. Roquan Smith. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. I am impressed with Roquan Smith right now. He has been playing out of his mind today. He's made every tackle on this drive, it feels like. 
Wow, that was an interception. Thank you, baby Jesus. Wait, I can't see my meter. Where's my kick meter? Or where's my uh, arc? Ah, oh, whatever. I somehow made a field goal when I didn't even know where the arc was. <laughs> I'll take it. 17-3. to three, I don't care. As long as we win, it doesn't matter how, by how much or how we do it. As long as at the end of the day, that record says 3-0 and and not 2-1. and I know we were at the 5, and we probably should have gone forward and tried to score the touchdown, but the way that Roquan Smith was playing, I didn't want to test it because Roquan Smith was dominating. 17-3. to They're going to run it again with Montgomery. We're going to be right there this time to stop him, unlike last time on the, the last run of the game or on the, of the half. Don't know how he got such a open lane. Tony Pollard's on the Patriots now. That's weird. That's going to be a missed user tackle. Another missed user tackle. <sighs> ah, why do I suck at user tackles? I need to make that some merch or something. User tackle? Never heard of her. <laughs> that's a broken tackle. That's not just a user tackle. That's a broken tackle. Nothing I can do about that. If I make that merch, you guys got to buy it. <laughs> oh, I missed that user tackle. Don't worry, I'm not making merch right now. <laughs> I'm nowhere near making merch. Oh, they didn't snap. I thought they would snap before the hat or before the quarter was over. All right, we got seven minutes to hold on to our 17 to three lead. Can we do it? Heck if I know. Ah, oh, why do I? Oh, I missed another sack. Come on, Juice. Be better. Be better. Why do I suck? Oh, Sewell, you got to play that tighter. If you play that tighter, you get a hand in there and at least knock it down. Ah, oh, Sewell. I mean, you're a young player, I understand, but you got to play that better. Get there, Favors. Fight for it, Favors. Somebody get there. Chase Young, I missed another sack. I missed another sack with Chase Young. I should have at least five sacks in this game, and I've missed three of them. That's frustrating. And Chase Young's X Factor has not been lit up yet. Logan Wilson somehow got that tackle. Who gets credit for that? Does Logan Wilson get credit for that? I don't even know. It's third and six. They're probably going to go for this no matter what happens. So, Oh, favors. He won that one. Bradley Roby picked it off, but it's out of bounds. Okay. Fourth and six. Fourth and six. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Oh, great job. Uh, Justin Fields, just bad throw. And we hold. And guess what? We're the best team in Chicago. Looks like we're going to win the battle for Chicago. First, first ever try. Hopefully we do this every year. But knowing the Madden scheduling system, we probably won't. This will probably be the only time we play the Bears in the entire series. Uh, throw that away. Oh, I was not in. I was. <sighs> yeah, I know. I, I probably was in the tackle box. But I didn't want to get sacked. I probably should have gotten sacked. It would have been nicer than what they just did to me. Man, I was hoping just to get some yards. We don't punt the football on this channel. You guys know that. We probably should at this point. But we don't. <laughs> it's my rule. I got to get that ball away. No way. Jamar Chase, baby. Jamar Chase. What a legend. An absolute legend. I just heaved that ball up there and he gets it. 
I found the open space. I'm going to test Matt Peterson here. Oh, that's a catch, but I didn't get the right... I didn't do the right animation. I should have went with a secure catch. I was worried that it was going to get picked off, so I went with aggressive catch. I got... He got bumped! Did you see that? Did you see that? He got bumped. Matt Peterson got bumped on the route. Did you see this? Matt Peterson gets bumped on the route. Right there. That's when I just... I threw it right here because I thought he was going to just go right through. But he gets bumped and that slows him down. That's allow, That allows Eddie Jackson to be right there when he needs to pick that ball off. That's so annoying. Why did he rub off like that? Come on, Madden. Be better, man. There's no way a receiver gets bumped like that unless it's illegal. Like, it's unless it's intentional done by, by the, either the players. And there's no way that in that situation, Matt Peterson would bump him. <sighs> so that cost me another interception. That's two now for Trey Lance in this game. You see why I, ha I have Gambler? Because when I don't have Gambler, I throw picks. Oh, Logan Wilson almost picked that, man. Logan Wilson almost picked that. And Trevor Favors almost got a sack, too. Baltimore's also on three. Some big-name teams are, are winless so far this season. Pick that, Roby. Pick. Uh, press and triangle. Give me an animation, please. That should be a pick. But whatever. Fields. He's going to get it off. And a first down. Jeff Sewell, you're playing so soft on the coverage. Come on. You can't do that. You got to play tighter than that. That's a quick throw. I didn't expect that. Cole Komet. Logan Wilson's been doing a good job in the second half. He was kind of like non-existent in the first half, but he's been doing a good job now. Oh, I'm getting so close to the sack, but he's just getting it away. Just seconds before. I can't. Uh, it's so frustrating. He's just getting it away. They're going to give it to Montgomery. He's going to get brought down for nothing, basically. And that's going to be the two-minute warning of the game. Two minutes left to go. It's 17-3. to It's a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game. They have all three of their timeouts. If they score, they might go onside kick. How? F I'm getting so close. I don't know what else to do. He's just getting the ball away just a split second before I can get there. I even dove that time and, and made contact with him. No way. Thank you. Whew. If I would have known where the ball was, I didn't see where the little marker was telling me where the ball was going to be. If I would have known, I would have had Bradley Roby go over there. Pat Sertan picked that, but he was out of bounds. Oh, no, he got it. Oh, wait. Oh, that was fourth down? Oh, okay. I didn't know that was fourth down. But they're going to review it. Are they going to give me the interception? I mean, it's our ball anyway. Okay, I was going to say. It's our ball anyway, so it doesn't really matter what they call. But it would be cool to have Patrick Tan get an interception. I, wh why couldn't he put his feet down? Oh, man. Wow. They shut down Jonathan Taylor. It's been hard to run the ball against this Bears team. Which I didn't think was going to be that hard of a thing to do. Because their defense isn't like super great. But it's been pretty tough. I hate that Trey Lance has no touchdowns and two interceptions. Just makes it look horrible. But Jamar Chase is dominating today. He's dominating every day. He's a, such a good receiver. Such a good receiver. And now this run will use the last of their timeouts, and then we can just run this clock down. Five catches, 119 yards for Jamar Chase. Big time play for Taylor? Not really. But that's all three of their timeouts. Your Chicago Cougars are going to win the first ever battle for Chicago. We get bragging rights. We are the best team in Chicago. Undisputed. Yes, 
Let's go again. Taylor broke that tackle. Oh, Jonathan Taylor starting to heat up a little bit. Ah, oh, I got wrapped up. That was a good play. I got to get Jamar, or I got to get Trey Lance a passing touchdown. It just has to happen. I feel so bad. I feel so bad that he doesn't have anything. He's just got two interceptions. Like It's looked like he's had a bad day, but he really hasn't. Terry, good job. Yeah, we got to score now. We're at the three-yard line. We got to score this. I'm thinking it's going to go to either Chase or Peterson, whoever gets open. Peterson, oh, big-time catch. There we go. It makes it look like it's not as bad now. I think that's his first touchdown. Definitely of the season. But it's not of his career. I was going to say of his career, but I wasn't sure. And that's 20... Of course. I can't see the, the hook. I can't see the arc. I don't know where to put the thing. What do you want me to do? It doesn't matter. We win by 20. But let me tell you what. If that would have been... If this would have been like a... A 23 to 23 ball game. And... Or no, 22 to 23. And I would have lost the game because I couldn't see the arc. Oh my god, would I have been mad. But I'm not. Because I didn't lose the game. So... <laughs> the Bears are going to start 0-3. And I can't get a sack, and I can't hit a user tackle. There's just, Everything's going wrong for me, okay? I can't user tackle. I can't get sacks. I just can't do anything. Why do I even play this game? <laughs> get there. He's white. Ugh, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're not going to get the ball off again. All right, your Cougars are the champs of Chicago. We win the battle for Chicago. Trey Lance. 77 rating, okay. 13-21, 237 yards, a touchdown and two picks. Those two picks are ugly, but whatever. 18 carries, 85 yards and a touchdown for Jonathan Taylor. Negative two yards for Raheem Oster. I'm sorry, my guy. I didn't mean to do you dirty like that. We'll figure something out. Receiving, five catches, 119 yards for Jamar Chase. Three catches, 46 yards for Tajay Chamberlain. Two catches, 42 yards for Terry McLaurin. And Matt Peterson got one catch, but it was a touchdown. Justin Reed had five tackles. J.J. Watt had six. Marcus May had a sack, and J.J. Watt had a sack. We should have had a lot more, but whatever. Justin Reed had a pick on that wounded duck play. And we win 23-3, and we are the champions of Chicago. I'm happy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got to play the Colts next week in week number four. We got back-to-back -back, um, division games in the next two episodes. We got the Colts and the Titans. That's going to be pretty big. We're 3-0. We lead the division. But the main thing for next episode is Trey Lance's contract is up. We got to pay him. We're going to get a steal on Jamar Chase. That's for sure. But Micah Parsons is going to be expensive. We got to bring back these guys. So everybody this way back, I don't really care about. I may, if we have money, I may bring back like Sean Wade or Adafi Owe. I might bring back guys like that. And Davis, oh, Davis Mills with 32. Are you kidding me, Davis? I know you won a Super Bowl and everything, but I can't bring you back for 32 million as a backup. That's just, I can't do that. So there's some guys that we got to pay. We're obviously not going to be able to pay everybody. But we got to bring back the main guys, like like Trey Lance, obviously, Jamar Chase, obviously, Micah Parsons, obviously, Vera Tucker, obviously, Ver Vera Tucker, Vera Tucker, obviously, Blankenship coming back. Um, those guys are the guarantees. Then the other ones that I'm probably bringing back is Adafi Owe and Sean Wade, and maybe Grenard, maybe if we have enough money. But other than that, the rest of these guys could probably walk. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough money to bring those guys back. And I still haven't even decided if we're going to bring J.J. Watt back. We're probably not going to bring him back for 11.4. So we might have to wait till free agency to, to get him back if we want to bring him back. But that's going to do it for this episode. We finally played the Bears for the Battle for Chicago. And we won the game. I couldn't be more happy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.